up creatures, it's Em and I'm back today with another not a creature feature, but a setup video. Yes, I'm going to be showing you how I set up my gargoyle gecko. He's only just arrived, so he's a little bit shy. I'm not gonna be handling him too much because when you do get your baby geckos, it's good not to handle them too much. This can spook them and make them go off of their food. The species we're going to be looking at today is Rachidactylus auriculatus, which is my favorite out of the whole Rachidactylus or Rac family. If you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button down below, become part of the crew reach your crew and also hit that notification bell in the corner so you don't miss a single upload. Now don't panic, I heard your call. Yes, I have brand new merch. If you want, you can go and check out my merch in my store down in the comment section below. It is a brand new Teespring store full of exotic Creature Crew goodies. So if you're feeling Creature Crew, then this store is for you. Go buy stuff, help me feed my animals. <laughs> Support my dobby sniffing habits. Bonus weasel, bonus weasel. Everybody loves a bonus weasel. If you guys keep gargoyle geckos yourselves, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of gargoyle geckos and if you have any of your own tips for setting up a juvenile or baby gargoyle gecko. Also a massive shout out to Tiki's Gecko's over here. Tiki bred Viserion and he is just the most wonderful, healthy, chubby little gecko. So thank you so much Tiki for entrusting me with your little guy. He is in good hands. I love him. He's brilliant and I'm going to just spoil him rotten. I just want to say, hashtag not sponsored, that when my gecko arrived I was so blown away. This gecko is beautiful. When he fires up he looks like this and when he fires down he looks like this and it's only going to get better. What's up Em? Hope you're enjoying your new little family member. I got his dad right here so you could see him. Anyways, I hope you enjoy him. If you have any questions at all, feel free to message us and we will help you out. Have a good one. Thank you so much Tiki for sending him over to me. If you guys want to check out Tiki, you can find his links down in my comment section below. Also go check out his social media. He's got a great Instagram. So thank you so much Tiki for sending the Syrian over to me. Audio exotic, take it away. Okay, this is Viserion, my juvenile gargoyle gecko. As you can see, Tiki's geckos kindly noted down his lay date and his hatch date, which is always useful information to have, and a bonus smiley face. To begin with, I'm going to be getting my enclosure. This is the Imagitarian Reptile Pet Carrier from Petco. I believe it costs somewhere around $10. This is a five gallon setup, which sounds really small, but it's essential to ensure that your gecko is finding its food and eating before you upgrade them down the line. This isn't a space saving decision, it's a health decision. A smaller space is easier for a young gecko to navigate and to acclimate to. For the substrate, I will be using simple Simple kitchen towel. It won't catch on your gecko's nails and it holds humidity really well wherever you miss the enclosure. The white kitchen towel also makes it very simple to see if your gecko is going to the toilet, a sure sign that they're actually eating. White blobs are urates, which are a product of your gecko's drinking and is normal. Brown blobs are the digested food matter. Ideally, you want to be finding both of these frequently, sometimes mixed together. Now, places to hide. You can use pieces of cork bark or fake plants to provide your gecko with somewhere to hide. It's important that your gecko can hide during the the day because it's time for them to rest. A gecko with no dark places to hide is a stressed gecko and a stressed gecko won't eat. I'm using this reptile shelter by Zoomed. It comes apart easily so that you can access the gecko to check on them or to clean out the hide. To make it more comfortable, I'm adding some kitchen towel to the base of the interior of the hide. Now I'm adding some fake plants. These fake plants are great for encouraging your gecko to climb and to build up their muscles. Gargoyle geckos and crested geckos are both semi-arboreal species, which means they spend much of their time in trees and climbing. Branches will help them to build their strength and also provide a vertical place to hide. Furthermore, fake plants are a great way for your gecko to stay hydrated as the water Water droplets are easy for your geckos to lap up. Remember, very few cresties or gargoyles will drink from a fountain. It does happen, but it's not always the case. 
Okay, now for the food. This is a small dish from a company called Mag Naturals. It has a magnetized back so that you can easily position the food bowl anywhere. These do come in lots of different sizes. Now I'm misting the enclosure to give it just a little bit more humidity. I like to spray the geckos at home at least twice a day to give them a chance to drink and to hydrate. Now finally, let's add our gecko Viserion. Because he's just traveled such a long way, I don't want to handle him much or bother him for any selfies. Today I'm using Pangea with added insect protein. Pangea and Rapashi are sold as complete diets for crested and gargoyle geckos, meaning that you don't have to actually supplement your gecko with anything else if you don't want to. For me personally, I will be feeding Viserion small, dusted crickets one at a time when he's settled in, but for now I know he's used to Pangea, so that's what I'm making him. I mix one part Pangea with three parts water and stir. You should probably not do what I just did and stir a magnetic dish with a metal spoon. Exotic fail. The mixture will thicken if you leave it for two minutes and then it should be the same consistency as pureed applesauce. If it's too watery, add a bit more powder. If it's too thick, add a bit more water. If you want to try offering your gecko some food to see if they're hungry, dab a little food mix on your finger and hold it just in front of your gecko. A hungry gecko will lick slowly at the food on your finger. Ensure your finger is clean and that you haven't been touching or running your fingers over any detergents or harsh chemicals. If you're using crickets, check that they're not being left over by your gecko as they can bite and wound your gecko if they're left in unchecked numbers. Crickets should only be offered if they are smaller than the width between the middle of your gecko's eyes. This prevents the gecko from choking on prey which is too large for it to swallow. I don't recommend mealworms or superworms because these have too much chitin in their exoskeletons and they're very hard for these geckos to digest. If it's particularly cold where you live, remember to use a heat mat with a thermostat attached. A good temperature to keep your geckos at is around 78 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 70 at night. Don't worry if your gecko gets a little chilly every now and then. It's not ideal, say if there's a power outage, but gargoyles and cresties can cope much better with cooler temperatures than they can with overheating. For this reason, keep them away from direct heat sources or direct light. Now sit back and watch your gecko grow. For the best results in monitoring your gecko's progress, weigh them every two to three weeks using a gram scale. I would encourage you to seek out gecko forums online or join an app like Amino, hashtag not sponsored, or a Discord where you can connect with other gecko keepers so that you can share your questions with experienced keepers. Thank you again to Tiki's Geckos for entrusting Viserion to me. And thank you guys, my feature crew, for actually watching this video and making all of this possible. Thank you so much, hand on heart. I love you guys so, so much. Please come and find me, connect with me over on Twitter and on Instagram, even on Facebook, Snapchat. Just come and find me everywhere you can find me at Exotic Official. I love to hear from you guys, especially on Twitter. I'm able to reply to a lot of questions. Come and find me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon.